democratic no and i'll tell you why russian russia can only prosper really prosper by dropping its marxist dictatorship of the proletariat dogma that will take time it may never happen if not russia will not grow economically just consider how the world has moved toward the democracy in recent weeks burma no experience in democracy a poverty stricken country and yet a weak student demonstration is thrown out of office the one party government in burma Burma's in chaos today, but it's moving in the direction of democracy slowly, and it will never be the same. Poland. The Polish people have revolted once again against the Communist Party with their monopoly on police power and military power. Each time they lose, but each time they gain more, more strength. Now the Solidarity Union is going to be recognized, and that makes a difference. And, Mr. President, in the Soviet Union. What is Glasnost? Glasnost is certainly the beginning, at least, of a kind of democratic situation. Glasnost means criticism of the government. And perestroika, of course, means decentralization of the economy, so that it's not centralized in a total government in Moscow. And as the voice of the people becomes more evident in the Soviet Union, the voice of the people will, as, it, as I say, as it always has, speak for peace. South Korea. A one-party government, but also a free enterprise state. Students are vigorously demanding democratization and free elections, even in the midst of the Olympics. Pakistan, General Zia, a dictator deposed. Moving toward democracy, perhaps. The Philippines, with Corazon Aquino, moving toward democracy. In our own Western Hemisphere, we see the greatest advances, with the exception of Nicaragua and Cuba. The Central America has become entirely dem democratic. And if we listen to that Nobel Prize winner, Arias, he says, with a bushel of patience and a peck of Peace Corps type aid, we can win over Nicaragua too. So regardless of who wins the presidential elections, regardless